All right, so I have my beautiful lollipop chart here. If you want to know how to make this chart, go ahead and check out my last video. I showed you exactly the buttons to click to make this beautiful chart. It's not a difficult thing at all. It's just from a line and marker chart, and then you use the drop lines to create the lollipop stick. So if I have this beautiful chart, sometimes I might want to put it into a PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this chart. So right click, copy, and I'm going to go over to my PowerPoint file. I already created a little slide with a title, and in this placeholder, I'm going to go ahead and right click and click on paste. Uh, I'm going to embed it. So if I wanted to edit the data, I can do that later. I don't need the title anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete the title there. I'm going to go ahead and increase the font size on some of this so it looks nice on the actual side. Maybe I want to increase the marker size of this. Let's go up to 20 maybe. That looks pretty good. Make sure that the axis uh, text is just a little bit bigger so that it shows up uh, nicer there. Now this looks like a really nice uh, lollipop chart to put onto your slide. Now I'm going to show you the little weird thing that happens with lollipop charts in PowerPoint that I really, really hate. So right now when we're looking at it in this normal view, this slide sorter view, um, the lollipops look perfect. The sticks are right up to the dot and the dot are over, uh, the dots sort of overlap uh, the stick. So you can't see anything uh, out of the ordinary here. But when I go ahead and I put it into slideshow mode, if you go ahead and click on the little slideshow icon in the bottom right, I'm going to click on slideshow mode like you were presenting it, and now you can see what happens to these live lollipop charts. The stick actually goes over, uh, kind of overlays on the actual dot, and I think it looks really sloppy. Now, this was the question that I posted to Twitter. Why does this happen? And I asked, you know, I sort of at, you know, Microsoft Excel and at PowerPoint, why does this happen? Uh, it doesn't happen when I when I save it as a PDF. It looks great. Only when it, when I put it into slideshow mode in PowerPoint does this issue happen where the sticks of the lollipop show up over the dots. I'm going to push escape and I'm going to show you um, the trick that Nolan Hames, who is from Nolan Hames Creative, he's on Twitter and you should follow him. He is a great source of information. Uh, but he just told me that what he normally does is he recolors the sticks of the lollipops to be the same color as the actual uh, head of the lollipop. So we can do that right now. I have them as gray, but I'm going to click them and then I'm going to go ahead and recolor them over here to that same blue. And now you can see everything is the same color. Let's put it into slideshow mode and see what it looks like. Perfect. So that's a really nice option if your lollipops, um, the data marker is going to be the same color as your stick. But what if you have a situation where you want the lollipop head to be a different color or to be a different fill color? So like for instance, I might want these lollipops to be filled with white. So I'm going to go ahead and fill them with white, make sure that the solid line is blue so that they're all very uniform there. And this looks really nice in slideshow mode. You can see the clear or the white um, lollipop head there and then the stick right there. But if I put it into slideshow mode, there that dreaded line comes back. Um, so we can't really do that. So I'm going to show you another trick that I like to do. I'm going to push escape again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this chart so that it's on my clipboard. So I'll right click and copy. Then I'm just going to go ahead and delete the chart. And now in this placeholder, since the chart is still on my clipboard, I'm going to paste it in. But instead of pasting in a live chart like this, I'm going to paste it in as picture. So go ahead and click paste as picture. And now it's a picture. You can't edit it anymore. So make sure that you're finished editing your chart completely before you do this option. But when I go into slideshow mode, it's just an image. And now all of the sticks are behind the lollipop head. So that's another way that you can um, sort of hack this if you want to put your lollipop pop chart into a PowerPoint presentation, and you're going to be playing that presentation in slideshow mode. So thanks for listening to this tip. Again, if you want to check out the video on how I made this chart, go ahead um, and rewind a couple of videos back and do that. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.